Now that I have the hard combat achievements completed, the private God Wars instance is now unlocked. We can now finally finish all of the God Wars combat diaries. Let's have a look at the God Wars tasks and see which tasks look like a serious challenge. All the hard tasks are pretty easy and I won't be talking about them. Let's move on to the Elite and Grandmaster tasks. For Armadale, we had the Salamander only kill, which we did in a previous episode with full bandos and melee style. Worked out really well. The other two armor tasks were chaining Kree without clicking on him once. That one wasn't too hard, but you definitely had to bring a lot of food for that kill. Since Kree will be able to melee you as you are not left clicking the boss, or else you fail. The other armor Grandmaster task was a 30 kill trip in the private room. All the God Wars bosses have their versions of the multi-trip tasks. Personally, the multi-trip tasks aren't too hard for me because I've already done all of those in my previous grinds. But the really difficult God Wars tasks are definitely the no damage taken Grandmaster tasks. Armadale does not have a no damage taken task, thankfully, other than the melee minion damage task, which was easy with Ice Barrage. I have a really good strategy for the Bandos and Zami no damage taking tasks using full justicia armor. I will cover them more in depth very soon as the progress on votes in this episode. Oh, nice. That uh, Elder Staff spec was massive. Love it, love it. Damn, this is so OP. God damn, bro. Okay, yeah, this bow. I'm just gonna have to call it a bit early. Oh, I got an ACP. Sweet. I'm just gonna have to call it a bit early, but um, this bow is um, really powerful. All right, so we're going to do a proper Armadale trip this time with the new setup. And I'm at 870 crystal charges, so let's see how many charges I end up using for about 30 kills. We should be able to finish this trip properly. Now we have the supplies, and we're not doing any weird stuff out of the way. So... First, we talk about Armadale, since that has been my starter task for a while. I've already covered 30 kill trips in the past using either Chin Method or the ACB slash T Bow Method, but I wanted to test out the Ferdinand Bow and see if I can pull off a 30 kill trip and just get some basic info from it like charges used on Crystal Armor and compare how it is versus the other weapons. So the strategy is still pretty much the same. I would freeze melee guy and I would kite the boss or do a combination of that and going under the boss to reduce the amount of attacks. So I went for a clean start with the bow and for the most part, it felt really similar to using a twisted bow. Kill times were super similar, although I will say that a lot of the kills were sketchier compared to a T-Bow mainly because you take noticeably more damage from the mage minion. On kills where you don't take damage because of RNG, the bow tends to kill Kree a bit faster than even the T-Bow. But there's so many kills where you have to just chug food and you just cannot DPS because you're eating so goddamn much and you also get slower kills. I didn't notice this till after the trip but the crystal armor has like 30 or less magic defense than Armadillo which is quite a big deal. I barely managed to pull off the 30 kill trip with the bow. Overall the bow of Ferdinand is very good at Armadillo and it's on par with the twisted bow. Come on let me get lucky hit here. Jesus Christ man. Oh, I did it! Finally! Oh my god, that was so close, man. 30 armor kill trips, just barely made it. I had to pull off freaking miracles to make this work. Boys, I got so much progress to work on for combat diaries. Like, hundreds of clips left. As you can see in the background, and I need to upload them before group environment. It's honestly exhausting and I need some motivation. So if y'all could support this video and like the video and also consider subscribing to the channel and ring that bell, that would give me a lot of motivation to get these out on time. Thanks in advance and let's continue the video. I used about 270 charges for 30 kills, which is about three crystal shards worth. So it's actually not that bad. Armadale is completely done. Kree Aura 7 out of 7. Yay. Alright, I guess the focus should be doing some more Slayers so I can get some more Jad tasks for the Diaries. And a Greater Demon task. A Greater Demon task would be nice because then I can uh, finish up Zami as well. 
So that's gonna be dope. Let's see, kill Krill 20 times. Oh, that's so so much easier, dude. I'll just use the same exact setup I used to use with Art Light, and it's gonna be chilling. Next Skullworks task I did was Zami, as I got a Greater Demon task after the AVNC, so it's perfect timing. Zami had two Grandmaster tasks that definitely raised some alarm for me. There was one where the minions could not damage you during the entire fight, and there is one where the boss could not damage you with melee either. For the no minion damage task, I came up with an interesting strategy. I left the range and melee minion near dead, and I just flicked them waiting for the boss to spawn. This is where Full Justiciar comes into play. Full Justiciar is so tanky that I should be able to tank a few hits in the beginning from the minions, almost guaranteed. So when the boss spawned, I would immediately kill the near dead range of melee minions, and that would leave only the mage minion and the boss. And Full Justiciar method involves just camping prey mage, so basically the mage minion can't hit me. So as long as I tank the first few minion hits, I should take no damage from minions whatsoever without having to flick my purse. I managed to do it in one try as melee Zami, the kills are usually really quick if you know what you're doing, so the minions don't even have time to respawn to damage me. The other task works a similar way because full just this year is super tanky. I would occasionally get Zami kills where the boss just does no damage to me whatsoever, just because I kill it so fast and I'm just so tanky. So I just passively finished that one task where the boss doesn't do damage as I got a super clean kill soon after. Normally people do range method to do the no boss damage task but you can quite easily do it with max melee even with bandos probably. Just make sure you have two claw specs and get some lucky art light hits on tasks and it should be done. The 20 kill trip task was pretty standard for me as I usually did the 30-40 kill trip using melee just this year method. The method involves doing two hits for every one of the bosses one hit, except when you do your first hit, you have to flick back into Justiciar Helm and a tanky shield one tick after as you are going out of the boss. It's very specific timing, so you do have to do a lot of practice, but what it does is you reduce a lot of damage or negate the Zami's melee hit completely. Oh, nice. I finished it. 20 kill uh, task. And we have enough supplies to really go for like 30 to 40 kills, but I am going to call it here. Okay, um, I probably will do this. Alright, here we go guys. We're going to do the Zaya spell only method and we're going to use this spell here to decrease the damage that it does. And uh, I'm just going to run around. I don't know the actual markers, but it's okay. It's okay. We don't We don't need it. We don't need to know the actual markers. Whoa, I'm hitting pretty okay though. Oh. <sighs> Dang it, this, this method's a bit rough. Because of the manual casting. But uh, okay, we are... Uh, we're doing okay. <laughs> oh my god. We're not doing too bad, guys. We're not doing too bad. I'm, I'm doing good. <laughs> Holy shit. I hit a 51, I think. Dude, I'm hitting, or I'm not. Okay, okay, come on, kill it, kill it. Oh, that was good, look at that. My inventory is completely full of stuff. I, I think I got lucky, to be honest. He didn't spec me once. All right, that was, uh, that was easy. That was incredibly easy. I'm just gonna teleport out of here, like, CB. Okay, Zami is completely uh, done, sweet. Alright, so God Wars only comes down to uh, here, Bandos and Sarah. I think this is going to be my hardest, Bandos, so I'll save it for last. I, I will uh, sweep the Sarah ones tomorrow, probably. Yeah, should be easy, especially because I have a T-Bow, so. Next was Commander Ziliana, Sarah boss. There was a Chin task, which I had to do, same as the Armadale one. Nothing to say about that one other than it's annoying. The most difficult task was, of course, no damage taking task. This one, you could get lucky and get a fast kill with the T-Bow and just tank all the minion damage. Especially combined it with the 50 kill trip task and maybe have a good chance to get one of those RNG ones in. But I wanted to do a proper no damage kill flicking. So I eventually just found a way to do that. It wasn't like the efficient kiting flicking method, but in the end it worked the same. And yeah, I was able to flick the Major and the range Minion and the boss and the 
unicorn was just running, chasing me, not hitting me. Okay, I think we uh, got this. Just make sure I don't fuck up the flick. Oh, god, finally, we did it. Okay, now I can just focus on uh, trying to get 50 kill trip. But it took so long that I'm kind of out of prayer, so... But yeah, we didn't even do this like completely perfectly, but... I did flick, and I had to tank like one hit in the beginning, but you know, you kind of have to, so... Whatever. So we flicked the rest, at least got it properly there, and we finally did it. Alright, continuing the Sarah task, we have the 50 kill task and the melee only task. We're gonna do the 50 first. And uh, this time, I don't have to worry about not taking damage at all. So I'm gonna go full send DPS. It should be pretty easy with the Tebow. And I'm also gonna bring my Ring of Endurance. But yeah, this will allow me to maintain my run a lot longer, a lot easier. So the 50 kills should be really chill on the run energy side. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead. Get this task done. 10 mil XP, yes indeed. I went from 13 mil XP to uh, 21.5, so so uh, I guess 8.5 to be exact. Yeah. Best thing about the Ring of Endurance, it counts as a Sarah item, so yeah, I don't have to bring any uh, Sarah actual items with me other than this. It's nice. Oops. Oh, Sarasaur. Hey, cool. Sweet. That's my first unique drop if you don't count shards. Hell yeah. It's been a while. At least in a long time. <laughs> hey, did I just get my Sarasaur back into my collection log low? I might not be able to use enough range potions. Because I can't get prayer. This is a problem, man. We're almost halfway there, but I've only gotten one prayer drop this whole time. Let's get some more prayer drops, please, because that's what I'm going to need to survive this test. We don't need Ego Eye because the boss won't drop me prayer pots. So therefore, I just will use my protection prayers. Luckily, Tebow is OP anyway, so... Look at this. I'm still hitting pretty well. And my prayer is draining a lot less, so that's, that's nice. But I keep hitting the Unicorn. I gotta stop hitting the unicorn though. Wow, look at that. It still died anyways, so. I'll just one tick flick in the meantime. Oh, okay, that worked out well. Prayer potions, let's go. Second prayer drop slash restore drop in about um, like 30 kills. Yes, okay, we should be fine now. I can probably put on my ego eye now. And we should be okay. Alright, this is it. 50 kills. Uh, I'm not even gonna kill the minions, dude. We've been here for too freaking long. I am out of here, man. Staff of the dead. And use the spec to kill the boss. So, And then we just do this. We just tank everything. <laughs> Sweet. Wow, I killed it in about a minute. Perfect. I didn't even have to use any of my other weapons for that. That was awesome. Yay! Ceridomin is all done. All done, boys. Oh, wait, no. Let's check. Yes, all done. All that's left is Bandos. Oh, God. I'm not looking forward to that. Somehow Kraken. You know, somehow Kraken. And, and uh, yeah. The Fight Cave stuff and the Theater Group Cancer stuff. The final boss was Bandos, the one that scared me the most because I never properly learned to flick the minions to do the two no damage tasks, but luckily just this year came in clutch once again and made those tasks doable for me. I initially wanted to see if I could do a flick method cutting Bandos with magic, but I couldn't find a way to reliably do it after quite the attempt since freezing was super RNG on where it would actually stop moving at. I tried ranging, but I didn't want to learn that method because I felt like it would take too long. And I felt like I could just learn the mayo flick and get it done faster, which is this year. Because I'd done some practice before in the past. Just this year was perfect, though, for the no damage minion 2x task and the no boss damage task. And I'll explain now. So the minion no damage task 
is only about minions. The boss can damage you and it won't fail you. So full justicia was amazing because I could focus on just practicing the flicking of the minions and I could actually just tank Bando's hits even if I don't flick onto the Bando's attack properly. So that I didn't have to actually perfect the flicking method. I took zero damage from the minions back to back because you have to do it twice in a row. Just purely focusing on flicking the minions and I even tanked a few minion hits too on the melee guy. Just because sometimes it will go a bit off tick. But it didn't matter since I was so tanky. Also the no damage from the boss task, I did it passively while working towards the 2x no damage for minions task. As I managed to do a kill where I just tanked all the boss hits using full just this year. Even the range attacks could not stop just this year at times. I want to give a shout out to this person called Sarkesi because I watched his video and uh, learned about this spot here to off tick the minions more reliably than the normal spots. And yeah, it really helped a lot to just get this task done with the no damage taken from minions. I did it! Yes! Let's fucking go! And I didn't land any more hammers on that kill. Ah, uh, get me the freak out of here, man. Bandos was by far the most ace task, but dude, just this year is the play for this task. Oh my days. I'm so happy that I actually don't have to kill the minions back to back. I just have to kill the boss back to back. Oh gosh. Okay, we're finally done. We're fucking done. For the 15 kill bandle strip method, I just use mage because I've already done a lot of mage trips in the past where you can get like as many kills as you want really, like 50 plus kills even. So it was no problem. Uh, the basis is freeze the boss, move away from the boss, and just hit it with your trident or sang. And that's literally it. Make sure you have good mage gear. Now, there's a billion ways to do it nowadays with range. And if you want to know what the uh, Ferdinand bow, for example, you can do like 100 kill trips if you learn like the different methods, like the 6 to 0 or whatever. But I didn't have enough time to uh, learn it because I'm in a rush. So, wait, what? Sweet. Okay, okay. All right, now we're out and safe. Let's have a look here. All the god war should be done. Man, look at this, all green, man. Except for down here. Just three things left. Zug, Jad, and three more tasks from Theater of Blood. Woohoo, so close. So close, 21 more tasks to go.